Welcome everyone to Modern Warfare 2. Now I know, I know that, that the specifically this series, this genre of games on my channel hasn't been too popular because maybe it's because I've only just started doing games of this series. But either way, I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep playing them because it's fun. It's fun to play them, you know, even if people like them or not, it doesn't matter. I'm just enjoying it sometimes. I'm just like, you know, I'm doing this whole thing as a hobby. It's not a full-time job, so whatever, you know. I'm going to do it. Now, um, I'm going to be doing campaign, obviously. Not this, because um, that's uh, Modern Central right there. And then this, I mean, it's a bonus mode, but I don't even know if people would even want to watch it. Probably not. I'm just doing campaign. And that's it. That's literally it. So, I did do a Let's Play of the remastered version for the PS4 of Part 1 of this Modern Warfare series. Now, the story's pretty interesting, of course, but if you don't know it, then, well, I recommend watching that, but I guess it's a quick recap. Uh, there's basically, well, the U.S. on one side, and then Soviet Russia on the other side. What the hell kind of name is Soap? The more things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. We fought and bled alongside the Russians. We should have known they'd hate us for it. History is written by the victor, and here I am thinking we'd won. But you bring down one enemy and they find someone even worse to replace him. Locations change, the rationale, the objective. Yesterday's enemies are today's recruits. Train them to fight alongside you, and pray they don't eventually decide to hate you for it too. Same shit, different day. You know what I'm looking for, Sergeant Foley. Keep your eyes open. Got a new batch hitting the pit today, sir. I'll send you the best I find. Welcome to Pull the Trigger 101. Private Allen here is going to do a quick weapons demonstration to show you locals how it's done. No offense, but I see a lot of you guys firing from the hip and spraying bullets all over the range. You don't end up hitting the damn thing and it makes you look like an ass. Private Allen, show them what I'm talking about. Grab that weapon off the table and fire at the targets behind you. Turn around and fire at the targets. Okay. 
So we're here in Afghanistan. It's Private Joseph Allen. All right, so fire from the hip. Pretty obvious. You just simply do that. Reverse the controls for looking up and down. No, I'm good. He's brain bullets all over the damn place. You've got to pick your targets by aiming deliberately down your sights from a stable stance. Private Allen, show our friends here how the Rangers take down a target. Crouch first, then aim down your sight at the target. Okay, so crouch first and then aim down the sights. I mean, as you already know, basically, if you watch the Modern Warfare Remastered Let's there Play, you would know what I'm you talking about. To go down, you gotta aim down your sights. Aiming down your sights also works for switching quickly between targets. Aim down your sights, then pop in and out to acquire new targets. Show them, Private. If your target is close to where you're aiming, you can snap to it quickly by aiming down your sights. Yep, okay, here we go. Now that's how you do it. You want to take down your targets quickly and with control. Now if your target is behind light cover, remember that certain weapons can penetrate and hit your target. The private here will demonstrate. Last but not least, you need to know how to toss a frag grenade. Private Allen, pick up some frag grenades from the table. Toss the grenade down the range to take out several targets at once. Good. Note that frags tend to roll on sloped surfaces. So think twice before tossing one up here. All right. Thanks for the help, Private Allen. Now get over to the pit. General Shepard wants to see you run the course. All right. Who wants to go first? Show me what you've learned so far. Okay, time to go to the pit. As you can see, this entire first mission is pretty much all training, but we are taking control of Private Joseph Allen, as you saw. So, yeah. Oh, this pit. Okay. Hey, Private. Welcome back to the pit. Heard General Shepard wants to pull a shooter from our unit for some special op. Anyway, he's up there in observation. Go ahead and grab a pistol. Alright, try switching to your rifle. Good idea, man. I never thought of that. Good. Now switch to your sidearm again. You see how fast that was? Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Well, smile for the cameras and don't miss. Shepard's gonna be watching. Best shooter gets to join the prima donna squad. Okay, so we get to choose a weapon. I'm gonna pick the... This right here is my favorite weapon, probably. One of my favorites in this game. I love it so much. This one's also pretty cool, too. The Scar. MP5, 4, and 9. do the SF and Delta can, but whatever, man. That's so calm, brass for over here. Just ammo. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see some real action instead of babysitting seals and D-boys. Who are? Wait. Oh. I thought I missed one there. Okay, gotta keep running. Damn it. That would have been near perfect there. What, I only killed 23 enemies? Shoot. Okay, well, I'm going to be doing it regular, even though it says recommended this, because uh, based on how I did. No, 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 no. I'm going to do regular. Yes.
most powerful military force in the history of man. Every fight is our fight. Because what happens over here matters over there. We don't get to sit one out. Learning to use the tools of modern warfare is the difference between the prospering of your people and utter destruction. We can't give you freedom, but we can give you the know-how to acquire it. And that, my friends, is worth more than a whole army base of steel. Sure, it matters who's got the biggest stick, but it matters a hell of a lot more who's swinging it. This is a time for heroes, a time for legends. History is written by the victors. Let's get to work. Alright, so the first real mission of the game, as you can see, we're just pretty much in war, as you can see. A bunch of helicopters up there. Now, I have an M9. As I was saying, I have an M9, I also have an M4, but it's Grenadier. Yeah, so just like the um, the Modern Warfare or Remastered Let's Play that I did, and even the ones before, like World at War, uh, there's not going to be too much talking even during the gameplay for this Let's Play. The biggest reason why is because there's a lot of in-game dialogue, as you can see, and I don't want to usually interrupt it. So that's why usually I tend to stay quiet. Because even like this, like I keep talking, but they keep talking too, so I feel like I keep having to shut up. Oh, 
Alright, and shoot him up finally. We're all just waiting. Oh, now. They got RPGs. That's gonna do some serious damage. Oh my god. That was pretty crazy. I mean, those RPGs could have probably gotten us right there, you know? But, you know, we survived because we... Oh god. Can't see. damn gun. This thing can just spray everything and kill pretty much- oh god. Yeah, I just gotta hold that shoot button, you know? Okay, that seems to be it. I was gonna charge in there, but I still got the road in. If I didn't see it, that would have been friendly fire to kill me. That would have honestly been insane. Okay, I gotta climb up to the second floor now. Let's see who's in here. Yeah, one bad thing about these LMGs is that, man, their hip fire accuracy is terrible. It is goddamn terrible. I gotta be like this, aiming down the sides pretty much the whole time. Because if I join, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta reload this weapon now. So let's see, 270. Oh my god. Oh my god. 271, so it's exactly 100 bullets, as I thought. For some reason, I wasn't sure if it was 75 or 100. Okay, well. I don't know why these guys are looking over there and aiming that way. Okay, so that car's about to explode. You gotta be very careful here. In the meantime, I'll just reload this gun. Okay, all good. Let's go. What the hell? How did you guys get over here? Gentlemen, good work on taking the town. Private Allen, you'll be taking orders 
from me from now on. I'll brief you on the chopper. Let's go. Battalion is Oscar Mike. And there we go. One level done. So how do I look? Like one of the bad guys. Perfect for your undercover assignment. So Makarov is the prize. Makarov's no prize. He's a whore. A mad dog killer for the highest bidder. Just remember your new identity. It'll keep you alive. Welcome to the 141. Best hand-picked group of warriors on the planet. It's an honor, sir. When do I meet the rest of the team? They're on a mission recovering a downed ACS module behind enemy lines. Their feet wet? Imagine they're just about freezing right now. Cliffhanger mission. So that guy right there. Wait. Am I going now? Yeah, that guy right there. He's, um. Wait, I can't even do this. I'm gonna die. I feel like I need to be doing something else. Okay, there we go. Yeah, um, he was the guy who we were in the original game but now he's an actual like well a character you know and he, he also has a voice now he was a silent protagonist in the first one he totally was can I just like okay just gotta keep alternating between R1 and L1 Honestly, it's not too hard. There are some things in the newer ones of the series where, like, the mechanics and things, the button inputs you need to put are, like, so... So much. See, right there, I honestly have no idea how he actually made it down there while still clinging on. That didn't make any sense to me. But, okay. I've made it. Roach, check your heartbeat sensor. You should be able to see me on the scope. That blue dot is me. Any unrecognized contacts will show up as white dots. Okay, so this mission is sort of stealth-like in the beginning. Um, it's a half-stealth mission, I guess. Also, what's cool is that you get to, you know, I guess close and open and close your heartbeat sensor <laughs> like that, because um, I don't, I believe you cannot do that in actual multiplayer, from what I remember. Okay, you can. Oof, this weapon is so cool. Be careful about picking up enemy weapons, Roach. Any unsuppressed firearms will attract a lot of attention. That's true. 
I just want to see that though. The FAMAS. Any kind of far, they, they saw us for a little bit there. Storm is brewing up. Almost red dot sight. That was my weapon back in the day when I played so much multiplayer. Okay, so Did somebody shoot us. Oh. For some reason I thought, what the hell? Okay, okay. That's weird. I thought somebody actually shot us for some damn reason. Let's split up. I'll use a thermal scope and provide overwatch from this ridge. Use the cover of the storm to enter the base. You'll be a ghost in this blizzard, so the guards won't see you until you're very close. Keep an eye on your heartbeat sensor. Good luck. Okay, so there's a lot of people in there. So I need to find a way to make it there. Although it's not exactly easy. Got him. So there's a guy right there. You know what? I think I need to go around. There's no one up there, by the way. Can you kill this guy? Or should I kill him? Maybe I can just go on through here. I mean, there's only one... There we go. See, now it looks pretty straightforward. So the guy should be in there. Thank you. Yeah, now I see it. Okay, now there are a lot of heartbeats over there, as you can see. And it's way over there where I need to go. Approach the fueling stations near the northeast corner of the runway. Basically, you just gotta keep it depending on the heartbeat sensor here. Really? I mean, I don't see any. Okay, so far so good still. That's the fueling station. You found it. No kills, no 
Lowlands. Impressive, Roach. I'm picking up more radio traffic about the satellite. Stand by. Got it. Sounds like the satellite's in the far hangar. Where is she there? Oscar Mike. Hi. Okay, so there's two people over there. So I can have large heat signatures near the tower. Could be BMPs. I'd avoid that area. Okay, they also have lights. Maybe if I go this way. Oh my god. You know what? There. I have to kill them both really fast. Shit, but there's more. Maybe not if I go this way. Ooh, that was close. That was very close. Okay, how do I... How do I get there? I think it's through this side. Yeah, you go like this. Take a scenic, eh? Let's go. Alright, so I'm actually going to end it right here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.